Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and uh, we're going to continue going on with this build of our budget basher quadcopter here. And uh, at this point we have everything set up. Um, if you haven't watched those videos, you can go back and watch them. I'll put a link to the, to the whole build playlist in the description down there. And what we're going to do now is we are going to... Uh, set up our transmitter, we're going to bind the receiver to our transmitter, and then we're going to get into beta flight and actually uh, configure all the settings, um, and and then, then we'll actually be able to fly. So let's get our transmitter and get that set up. Now this is a FlySky FSI6X transmitter, uh, so if you have the FSI6, I'm not sure if this will um, of crossover exactly to, to that, but uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. All right, the first thing we want to do is we're going to well, turn it on. I'm going to put my switches in the up position because that's what it asks for. And then I always just put them down out of habit because that's the way I have it so that it's it's up is on instead of, but it's backwards. But any, anyway, so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to get into our menu here and we're going to press and hold OK. We're going to go to the system. We're going to select a new model. Let's get an open model here. We'll go with... Well, we'll just go with FlySky 12. Let's do that. I'm going to press and hold cancel. And what we want to do, well, first of all, let me show you what my uh, firmware is, just in case if this doesn't look like yours and you have different firmware, that could be the reason why. So this is what my firmware is. It looks like it was, uh, this is 1.0 on the 1st of July, 2016. So that is pretty old firmware, but I don't think that there's an update. If there is, let me know. Um, but anyway, that's what that looks like. So the first thing that we're going to do, and this is what I do with all, I just pretty much configure all of my uh, quadcopter, pretty much every new model, I will just configure in the same way. So what we'll do is we'll go into OK, and then we're going to go into System Setup. We're going to scroll all the way down to AUX switches, and then we want to make sure that all of those are on so they're all on and the channel is set and the channel is set to 10 in fact I'm pretty sure that once you do this once it'll stay like this for all the models on your transmitter and then once you do that you're gonna press and hold cancel and then we're going to go up to RX setup we're gonna uh, go down to output mode and then, um, so the up and down, you can change the P P PWM or PPM, but we don't care about that because we're using serial. So we're going to press OK, and it's going to take us over to this other side. And then we're going to select iBus. So I'm going to press and hold Cancel to make sure that it saves. And then I like to go, go back in, and it is on iBus because that's what we're using for our trans uh, our receiver is going to be uh, using iBus. And then <clears throat> we can go into Function Setup. And this is where we're going to configure our uh, switches. So right here, aux channels. We're going to go into aux channels. <clears throat> now, let's see here. So this one, so you can use the up and down uh, buttons to change the the source or, well, really what this is the switch is really what it is. So here's how this works because this can be kind of confusing. So you have, uh, you have channels 1 and 2 on this stick. You have channels 3 and 4 on this other stick right here. And so the thing is, is that all of these extra switches are additional channels. So since this is 10 channel, you have uh, four channels already taken up with your sticks. And then we're going to have channels 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's how I, that's how I like to do it. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And then, and I just do it that way for all of my models. And that way I know which switch corresponds to which channel and which, which aux switch. And that's going to come, that's going to come in handy. It's going to be very important in beta flight. And so the, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> the way that this is going to work, is an aux switch is just it's it's an auxiliary switch so it's basically it's in addition to these four channels that we have here so uh like in you'll as you'll see in beta flight we're going to have aux one aux two aux three aux four aux five and aux six and that's the way um i have it and the reason why so because you, you have aux you have the aux one two three four five six but the channel is going to be channel 5, 
channel 6, channel 7, channel 8, channel 9, channel 10 because we already have these four channels taken up with our sticks. So I know it's kind of confusing, but just bear with me and we'll get through this. So let's get back to back to our uh, aux channel menu here. And let me let me just start over there. So channel five. So channel five, I'm going to have to correspond to switch A. So uh, right now it's on variable A, but we want it on switch. Let's see here. So there we go. There we go. Switch A. We want channel five on switch A. And this is just how I like to do this. You could you could do it your own way, but this is uh, I found that this works pretty well. Channel six, which is going to be this switch, we're going to set to. Sorry, let me make sure you can see this. Uh, channel six, we're going to sw have it be switch. We're gonna set that to switch B, which is going to correspond to this switch right here. Uh, Cause that's the other thing is that this, this when it says source, it's talking about switches. And so you have the, um, you have switch A, switch B, switch C, switch D, and then variable A and variable B. And these are just little, little knobs that can rotate. So yeah, it's kind of confusing, but that's how it is. So <clears throat> channel six is gonna be set to switch B. Channel seven, we're gonna set to switch C, which is right here. This is a three position switch. And we're gonna press okay. We're gonna, once we have it on the, the switch that we want, we press okay and it's gonna take us to the next. Once we once we have it on the, ch on the switch that we want, it's, uh, we're going to press OK, and then it's going to take us down to the next one. And we have channel 8. We're going to set that to switch uh, D. So A, B, C, D. And then we're going to have uh, channel 9. And you, I'm going to set that one to variable A right here. And then channel 10, I'm going to set that to variable B right there and then this is really important I'm gonna press and hold cancel to save it okay I'm gonna go back into the menu and make sure that everything stayed the same so channel 5 is switch A, channel 6 is switch B, channel 7 switch C, channel 8 switch D and 9 and 10 are these variables up here and that is how you set up the aux channels I know it's kinda it's 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 really confusing because there's like three or four different ways of kind of looking at it. But in any case, that is what we want to do. And then you have, of course, you have all these other uh, options, but we don't really need to use any of these right now because we're pretty much going to do everything else um, in beta flight. And I mean, the only ones that you might need later would be like sub trim. Um, but I, I did not need that for my quadcopter. So uh, now that we have everything saved and set up, we have the output mode, we got the aux channels. Okay, now we're ready to bind our uh, transmitter to our receiver, and uh, it's gonna be a little eh, a little bit tricky, but we'll, we'll make the most of it to get to our little receiver, because remember that bind button, uh, that's what we need to press as we plug in the battery to our quadcopter. So I'm gonna get my handy dandy bamboo skewer little stick thing, and I hope you can see this. I'm going to, I'm going to press that little tiny button there using this little stick. I can kind of get a good angle on it. So I can press it, I can barely feel it. But uh, what I need to do is hold it down. So I'm just gonna put my quadcopter on the desk here. I mean, we're gonna press down the button. Okay, I'm holding down the bind button and then we're gonna get our battery here. And we're going to uh, connect, connect the battery to the quadcopter while holding down the bind button. And you can see our receiver is flashing in there. A little light is blinking. Now we're going to take our transmitter and we are going to hold down the bind button and we're going to turn it on. Oh, and I gotta flip these switches up for it to actually turn on. And it says binding and it says okay and it says bound, we're bound. And then we have a little signal thing. It tells us the signal, which is fantastic. It tells us that they're talking to each other. And uh, that's, uh, that's really all there is to it. And just make sure that you're on the correct uh, the profile setting when you bind it because now this receiver is bound to this profile setting. And that's all there is to it uh, for binding. We can remove the battery now. And now we're ready to uh, get our laptop and connect it to the quadcopter and get this thing configured in Betaflight.